I spent one entire year trying to make $1 million, and after 365 days of pushing myself beyond what I thought I could do, and trying just about every single side hustle I could think of, I'm gonna share with you what I learned about making money, and what things worked really well, and how much I ended up making in 2021. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Ben, I've made over six figures trading crypto, and I'm on a journey to 10K a month of passive income. And I want you to join me on this journey. Let's go. So this all began on January 1st of 2021. I had about 15 to 20,000 in my crypto portfolio from trading up to that amount in the past year. On that evening of January 1st, I set the goal to make $1 million by the end of the year. I wrote a letter for my parents to give them on Christmas morning of that year if I reached that goal. I wrote this long message of what I would say if I reached this goal by saying that I worked my absolute hardest this year and I did everything I possibly could to make this happen. It wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for what they've taught me. I wanted to write them a big check to go along with this note and to help get them into a new home. After I finished writing this note for them, I had this incredible motivation that I never imagined I could have. I was so excited and just so pumped and I couldn't wait for the day to give them that letter. So what did I do? I didn't sleep at all that night because I started to brainstorm any ideas I could and think of new ways to make money apart from trading crypto. Now one of my friend's dads traded stocks for a living and I talked with him in late January, early February about trading. I told him about how I was trading crypto and the strategies I used and he wanted to meet and talk with me about trading and learn some things about crypto because he was super impressed with my knowledge on trading and how well I already knew how to handle emotions and a lot of the tough things you learn in trading. Being in crypto, I was experienced with a lot of volatility and became very used to big swings in my portfolio. After meeting with him and talking all about trading and how much we enjoyed it and I explained my process, he loved hearing all about it and said, you've already mastered some of the most important things as a trader. And the biggest one is recognizing patterns. After this great conversation, I decided to take a stocks options trading course or class for about 1200 bucks. At the time, my portfolio was around 25 to 30 K. So 1200 bucks was a lot of money. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to spend that much on a course. I went through with it and I took the class and I learned a lot of ways to trade stocks and do options trading. And I loved it. I continued to teach him things with crypto and helped him make a lot of money with crypto. He told me that I needed to create my own class or course and he'd be my first student and share it with all his previous students and new students. For some reason, that conversation got me so excited and motivated that I spent the entire next week grinding nonstop to create an entire video course, website, everything I needed to complete this course. And after I had finished all of that, I had sold a couple courses to people. I didn't really know how to reach more people. I had taught a small group of people already that had a ton of success, so I knew I could continue to change lives and teach them how to trade crypto. I decided to quit my part-time job and focus completely on my crypto trading and starting a YouTube channel slash business. And if you're interested in my course, check it out in the description below. During these times as well, I looked for other ways to make money, including flipping couches on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, and I successfully found one couch for free, and I sold it for $60 profit. And I originally got that idea from a video I saw on YouTube from Ryan Pineda, and I decided to give it a try. I did any side jobs to help my dad with his demolition business, and also moving jobs to help my uncle, and I made an additional couple hundred bucks here and there from doing those things. I also made my dream a reality of releasing some of my original songs to all streaming platforms and investing about 1500 bucks to make that happen. And knowing I wouldn't make much from it, but it was a dream of mine and another way to passively earn some income. I think I've made a total of like 30 to $40 or something from streaming those songs. And I just wanted to make sure I tried every possible thing I could think of to make this million dollars. Then a couple weeks later in March, my stock teacher sent me the number of one of his friends and that was a marketer and he could help me reach more and more people. So I took him out to lunch and we talked for a couple hours and I told him my story, my goals, and he was really excited about it all. I told him that I was going to start a YouTube channel and he told me that he had a production team and a recording team and he could help record a bunch of videos with me and do a lot of work together. So I set up a day to record with them and paid them about five grand to record a bunch of videos. I recorded all my course videos with them and a bunch of videos that are on my Facebook page. And I was way excited for it all. I was ready to spend a lot to get my journey started with YouTube and content creation. I had bought a YouTube course already from Graham Stephan. 
Graham Stephan made a video around this time said that he was hiring. He wanted people to create a YouTube video for their interview for a new editor on his team. And so lots of people made videos to interview for this position. Since I was wanting to start my own channel, I wanted to hire an editor since I didn't know how to do that very well. And I had reached out to a bunch of these editors that I liked because they all had their emails in the description of their videos. And I wanted to hear what they could do and how much they charged. Then Graham released a podcast on his podcast channel, The Ice Coffee Hour, and revealed who his new editor, Alex, was. I watched this episode and they said it was between Alex and a guy named Colby. I went and watched Colby's video and I absolutely loved his editing and his sense of humor. I was like, dang, this is the person that I would love to work with. So I emailed him and I was really excited to see that he actually responded when I woke up the next day. We worked out a deal and got started. So I was way excited for this because I basically got Graham Stephan's second pick for his editor as my new editor, as a brand new channel. And we officially started posting twice a week in the beginning of May. At this time, I had traded my portfolio from 15 to 20K at the beginning of the year, all the way up to 100K in about May. I had now taken on Colby as my editor and James as my website designer slash marketer, and my expenses were around $4,000 a month between all of that. Then after a few weeks into May, things took a turn for the worse. Super stressful times happened after I officially started the channel and now my monthly expenses were $4,000 a month. My portfolio had dropped to as low as 60 to 70,000 and it dropped from the highs of 120 to 130,000. So I was down about 50%. And I was completely full-time crypto trading in YouTube and everyone was saying that the bull run is over. And so I was super stressed that if that was the case, we could drop even more and I could drop to as low as 25 to $30,000. And that would only last six months for my expenses. And also at this time, I struggled to make one to $2,000 a month from trades because the market didn't have a lot of good trading opportunities at this time. So I was going negative each month because I was taking more out of my portfolio than I was making from trades. And this is when I really questioned if I made a mistake and if I should just talk to my editor and marketer and just cancel everything in the meantime until I could get in a better place to go with it again. It was really tough to have to sell more crypto than I had made that month and just see my portfolio shrinking each month. That went on for months as well. When crypto was not doing well at this time, I was like, okay, well, I just can't focus all my time and energy on it. I gotta move on and learn how to make money in other places. And so I started to buy more YouTube courses and books about business. I started to spend eight to 12 hours researching about YouTube and business and soaking in tons of information. I had bought three to four YouTube courses in the span of two months and watched probably 500 to 1000 videos about YouTube and how to grow and everything about providing value to your audience and finding your audience that is a lot like you. I fell in love with learning about YouTube and going all in on it and just researching for hours to think about good ideas for videos and I also created lists of attributes and qualities that my audience has, including goals, mindset, daily routine, struggles, what they needed help with the most, and also their favorite channels that they already watched. I could start to envision who would find my content helpful and started to create ideas to focus on you guys. All I could think about was how you guys are my number one priority. Anytime someone asked me in the comments if I could do a video on a certain topic, I got so excited because it helped guide me to what you guys needed and wanted most. I spent so many hours learning and rewatching YouTube course videos and studying other channels that I thought you guys already watched and liked and learned from them. There have been so many nights where I can't sleep. When it comes to crypto, it's hard enough to get a full night's sleep without waking up. Now with YouTube being such a passion of mine, it seems like right as I'm going to bed, I get the best ideas for videos and I start brainstorming them and write them down on my notes on my phone. My notes on my phone became my best friend and I wrote down so many ideas on there. I cannot tell you how many times I'll reach for my phone, write down a good idea in my notes, then start to ponder on those ideas and then I have about three to five more good ideas. So I just keep picking up my phone every couple minutes to write them all down. And guess what time I thought of this video idea right here. It was around 1 a.m. and I spent the next two to three hours planning it out and writing down all the things I wanted to include in it. Because when I have a great idea, I wanna make sure that I put in all the things that I want to include and make sure I brainstorm as much as I can while it's on my mind. I continued working hard on my YouTube channel and created a video called Top 3 Altcoins in August. And it included three coins, CRO, MLN, and SHR. I got so many positive comments about CRO and how much people love CRO and how it was so undervalued. I got really excited because CRO is my favorite project and I agreed with what everyone was saying in the comments. I knew at that moment that I needed to make a CRO video and I did explaining why it would blow up in 2021. 
that video took off for my channel and got to 10k views and a bunch of new subscribers. I was really excited because I could talk about CRO all day, every day, and I had so many ideas for videos. I started to add CRO videos into my video ideas mix and started to see some crazy growth in the channel. At the same time, my portfolio started to grow as the market started to recover in September. I got back over 100K again from trading and started to see growth happening while my expenses were still $4,000. I had grown a larger audience on YouTube and then in November, we got the news that CRO was being added to Coinbase Pro. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited to share it with all of you and I knew that this would change things forever. Then more great news kept coming out for CRO and we saw our CRO just crush through all time highs and just completely take over. It went from about 20 cents to as high as 98 cents in the matter of a month. This helped my portfolio a bunch and brought me over 200K for the first time briefly when CRO was at 97 cents, while also helping my YouTube channel grow quickly and reach a lot more people. All throughout this year with all its ups and downs, I was so motivated to hit my million dollar goal and write my parents that check that I made sure I did every single possible thing to try and make it happen. When I started this year and was only working my part-time job in crypto trading, I felt like it wouldn't be enough and I needed to do more and expand my sources of income. That is part of why I got into YouTube and started my own business, because I knew it would be scalable. I also worked on some of my original songs and released two of them this year to add another source of income. I knew it wouldn't be a lot of money, but it was scalable just like crypto trading and YouTube. I also invested a lot of money into YouTube and my business, and the total I invested over this past year is a total of $30,180.77. So we will add that to the total we made doing everything else. And I also wanted to do things that were scalable, no limit to the amount that you can make. When it comes to things that are scalable that I tried and love, including trading, YouTube, and music, when you're starting out, it takes the most effort to get it going and the most time and work that if you really work hard on it for a couple years, you can really start to see it take off. Crypto trading didn't make me a ton starting out, but I made a few bucks here and there, and then it grew to five to 10 bucks after months of trading and then to 10 to 20 bucks. It continued to scale up and will continue to do so with more time and consistency. YouTube was a crazy journey. I've spent so much time and effort studying other channels and strategies and courses to learn the ins and outs of YouTube. I probably have spent 10 to 12 hours a day working really hard with YouTube and improving daily. Most nights I can't sleep because that is when I have my best ideas and I get too excited and I wanna start working on them right away. You really know that you're doing what you love when you want to spend any extra time you have into your work and video ideas. So I know YouTube and trading crypto are passions of mine and I love every single part of what I do. Putting in all this effort and time since starting this journey on YouTube seven months ago has helped take me a lot farther than I thought could happen on this journey. I'm so grateful for it all and for all of you that have watched my videos and supported me. After this entire year in journey to $1 million in a year, I made a total of $202,668.06. Now by the time you watch this video, this could be even more, and by the end of the year, it could increase even more. Passive income has always been a big goal of mine, and I can't wait to get to 10K a month of passive income, and I think I can get there in a few years. I definitely think it's possible to hit my goal of a million dollars next year in 2022. As sad as it is that I'm not able to give my parents this letter on Christmas day this year, I am so extremely proud of myself. I worked harder than I've ever worked in my entire life. I tried any side hustles I possibly could and any opportunities to make an extra hundred bucks. I pushed myself outside my comfort zone on so many different occasions and I never gave up no matter what people said to me or all the hardships that I faced this year. I did everything I possibly could to try to make this dream a reality of mine and in the best way I could. I didn't take a ton of risks because I wanted to solidify my gains and not lose out on some of those gains. This journey has been a complete roller coaster with some crazy turns and tough times, but at the same time, some of the most rewarding times. The last three months have been the best three months ever because I've met so many friends with my YouTube channel and seen people change their lives in front of me. And I've received so many kind emails and messages from people telling me how much I've helped them. And it makes me so proud and so happy to hear that. That is why I started this channel, to help as many people as I can and make a difference in their lives and help them be financially free. That's the most important thing about this channel and this journey is I want to help as many of you as I can. And I appreciate all of you so much and I care about you all so much. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. And thank you so much for watching again. And remember as always, keep it in the green.